There's a paper. We're going to go over here in just a few minutes, okay. kind of how we'll split into groups. Okay. Tonight, the task is simple. They're going to cover all of that area. For such okay. a complicated situation. I'm feeling resentment, anger, confusion. The family of Eric Ingebrigtsen will face his convicted killer again tomorrow, this time for a resentencing hearing. They have really opened up a brand new nightmare. Devin Lombardi was 12 years old when her brother was murdered by his best friends. Nathan Ramazzini was convicted to life without the possibility of parole. But Tuesday, his sentencing could change. We're all in a state of shock. All this because a law signed in 2013, which makes every juvenile murder conviction case eligible for resentencing. We just keep taking slams, and, and we took the worst slam 21 years ago, and this feels exactly like that all over again. To make sure their voices are heard and their support is seen, these ribbons are going up on every tree, lamppost, and crosswalk in Calusa. For Eric. If you knew Eric, he was just one of the greatest guys ever. Casey Ryan was Eric's childhood friend. The blue right now, 20 years later, is just to show Eric, no one looking down. He's looking down on us and saying, hey, we're going to fight this. We're going to get this right. They are blue because that was Eric's favorite color. And when he was killed in 1997, blue ribbons filled the streets of his hometown. It takes me to a very sad place because we're put in a position to be tying ribbons around our town again, and we weren't supposed to be here doing that. Closure may not be around the corner, but blue ribbons are on every corner, wrapping around a community searching for justice. We did reach Nathan's family tonight, and they said they didn't have anything to say about this case. Tomorrow, the resentencing happens at this courthouse. We will be here to bring you any new information about this case. Inclusive tonight, Madison Meyer, ABC 10 News.